I knew we were getting a good player. I thought we were getting a good person and that turned out to be true. But I like his cockiness. It's part of your success. I was the same way, so that's probably why I liked him. Well, Jambia was a great organization, but we were not winning. Uh, they, they had to make some moves. They, they wanted to get younger, so they traded a bunch of veterans away. Uh, I got traded here, which was perfect fit for me. Uh, came with uh, Joel Bouchard, who was, I think, the best coach to prepare me for, for the professional hockey. I was really happy that we got him, because like I said, he when he came down here to play against us, he always had a really good game. And uh, and if I remember correctly, the, the, your last game against us, you. You had a hat trick here for Drummondville and the first star. So we were really happy when we got him and I'm not surprised at the success he, he had with us and last year in the, in the pros. Yeah, it was my, my third year in the league, so I wanted to make a big run in the playoff. And coming here, I got traded at the same time as uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois, who played for Columbus now. So it was a perfect fit for me. I was really happy to come here. I came here with a positive energy and uh, attitude. So. Yeah, I was pretty happy, and the fact that we made it uh, both years in the final was pretty special. When I got traded, the first thing I saw was here. They brought me through here to meet all the coaches, and then they were already in a meeting in the room, so I got into the room, and it was kind of awkward because all the guys were like just standing there looking at me, and I didn't know really what to say. So me and Dubois got, got in here at the, at the same time. He just got back from the World Junior, and we got in at the same time. This was the therapist's office. Spent a lot of time there with, uh, with Frank. Had my breakfast over there in the corner. I, I didn't know much about him when he got here. Uh, we knew he was very skilled, like a uh, great player. We got him for, for a good run for the playoffs. Uh, he got here, we got along pretty quickly, to be honest. Uh, he's very friendly, he's very uh, sociable. I think when I was, when I got here, he told me, like, you need a point streak to keep it to keep your massage. And I ended up with like a 10 game point streak. So we just kept going, just doing kept it. it going. Yeah. Um, what I remember in the very beginning the most is the, the first game he, um, we played, he played for us. He came for the game, for, he'd come and see me. He's like, uh, Frank, uh, you think you can massage my legs for the game? Or like, I get my legs massaged for every game. So like, I looked at him like, really? Like, you get your leg massaged for a game? He's like, you better score two goals tonight if you want me to massage your legs every night. This is the belly, belly button. Our, our coach back when I was here uh, brought it up. He says, uh, I think the Marine use it to, when they go on a mission, to press the belly button to make sure that they believe that they can do it. So it just became natural. It's just every time you pass in front of it, just, it became natural. Like you don't think about it and you just do it. Alex was a very superstitious guy. There's a lot of stuff like he, he can probably tell about it more. Like he can tell about all the superstition. He has probably like a six or seven superstition for games with different people, different handshakes, different things he does. Uh, so the, the leg massage was part of the superstition. So uh, he's the only guy I did that for him for every game. First of all, it was Alexander Katerinakis who was sitting right in front of me. I had to use the clear, clear tape and throw it to him so he could use it. That was one of them. Then I would, I would come down here, press the belly button, wait here. Then I would have like, uh, Different handshake with uh, a couple guys. Uh, the trainer back in the day had a handshake with him. I would always go last on the ice. We all knew about his, his offensive skill, offensive quality, but uh, the way he performed uh, on the defensive part of the game at, as an overage at 20 years old on the PK and uh, uh, in the last minute, big face off in our zone. And I think he scored a few goals shorthanded. So for me, that was a part of his game that I was kind of surprised a bit. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know how it was in Drummondville, but I think it's a, it's a great organization too. But I think he, uh, he learned different things that maybe uh, he didn't learn before. So I think he grew a lot as a person, as a, as a player here with our organization. Yeah, I, I think it kind of opened my eyes a little bit that maybe I could be a hockey player, like a pro hockey player. Uh, I didn't. I was not drafted. I didn't know what I was going to do after my junior career. So uh, yeah, I think that my first playoff play run here, uh, when I got traded in the, from Drummondville, was really awesome. It kind of helped me building my confidence. All the coaching staff, uh, Joel, GF, and Dan did a great job with him too, for to bring his game to a different level because he had the skill, and I think he, they taught him like different 
things, different details to, uh, to raise his game to a different levels. And he got a contract and all the success he has, it's, uh, it's all him. His cockiness is a big part of his success. Uh, like I said, he remind me. Uh, and his, uh, his ability to grind it out, okay? That's, I think it's something that people don't think of him, that he's got it in him. To be honest, I think what's bringing this to the, to the top, it's his, uh, his level of competition. He competes every night, every shift. Uh, he wants to win, he's a gamer. His confidence, I think, sets him apart from the rest of the, the group. Uh, my mom is pretty competitive. She don't like to, she doesn't like to lose. Uh, I think that I maybe got her, got that from her. But uh, of course, nobody likes to lose. But uh, I think I, I hate losing more than I like winning. So <laughs> seeing him at 16 was better as a 17, was better at 18, was better at 19, and obviously 20. And obviously last year he got even better. It's tough to find that. Uh, that line of improvement every year. Yes, uh, Benoit Grou uh, gave me a lot of confidence early in the year. We had a lot of injuries, so he put me on the power play right away, and it worked out, so I, I stayed there pretty much a whole year. Uh, the fact that I was playing with uh, good players like uh, Gabriel Dumas or uh, Carter Verhage, even Corey Conacher was uh, very, very helpful, helpful to me. Uh, they're very good players that had a lot of experience, either in the AHL and the NHL, so uh, it was uh, it was a good good fit for me to play with them and uh, to show me kind of the way. Like, like we knew he was going to have success, but that fast in the in the pro, we thought it would it would be maybe an adaptation period for him. But uh, I think uh, all the qualities we just mentioned is just I think what's bringing him all the success he has, and it's well deserved. He's been showing improvement every year since he's 15, so. Now, I don't know where his ceiling is, to be honest. I, I think we can uh, expect big things from him. My preseason game, I played with the Lightning, and I felt good. I felt like I played a good game, so it, it kind of gave me confidence to go to Syracuse. And once I got to Syracuse, you know, you saw the lineup in the room, who's on which line. I saw I was on the first, uh, I think I was on the third line, maybe. So I was, I was pretty happy with that. That's what I expected. And then the next day, uh, I guess I had a good practice, but my group put me uh, on, the, on the second line. So I was, I was pretty happy that I was on second line. And then all of a sudden, we had an injury, and I was on the first power play. So I was, that's kind of where I, I, I realized that okay, I'm, I'm here, and uh, I want to stay here and go up. It's always uh, special to come back here. I mean, I have so much, uh, so many good memories here. Uh, when I got traded, uh, to a playoff run we made to the final, it was. Uh, Unbelievable memories and coming back always bring back uh, bring back those memories. Yeah, it was amazing. We were so happy for him to see all the success he had. Uh, it's just like uh, you feel like you're a bit part of it, like because uh, you help them grow through the process of playing junior hockey. So you're, you're part of it a little bit, but it's uh, really rewarding for for us to see all all our players and especially Alex to have that kind of success. His ability to score the big goal, uh, his ability to uh, uh, to tell the coach. Let's put me out there. I'm gonna go score. He's got that in him. Uh, it's pretty rare that they want that challenge. They want the pressure. That's the thing that that I'm gonna remember the most of him. It's his uh, his uh, gaming ability. That want want to make sure that he's the one making that big goal in the big moment. Uh, I feel good right now, but of course my goal is to, to try to prove to the organization that I, I can play with them in Tampa. But uh, if not, I'll go back to Syracuse. I'll be happy to be there. I mean, I enjoyed my time there last year and uh, it's just time for me to get better.